Okay, so now let's come over to Expression Web and um, see how we can load up the site that we built earlier. I believe this was called My Test Site. What was the name of it? Again, here we have Expression Web going through its load up. A lot of times when you um, go into Expression Web uh, for the the very the very next time it either goes to the site you were last working on or it just pulls up an untitled page if it pulls up a site so you've been working on you can close it out here but if it just pulls up a page you go over to file and just hit close and get that to go away and then we go to open site and it was I believe it was my test site was the one we were working on so let's go ahead and open that and there it is now what we do is we come down here to where it says publishing. We can take a look at this just to make sure we got the right site. Yes, there it is. So that's the site we were working on. So we come back up here to site view. Come over here to publishing. And now what we want to do is, uh, it's kind of obvious here, it's add a publishing destination. Now here we go. So this is just a name for your own reference. Uh, and it would be my test site we can call it and then the location is is cloak project dot com and the directory there now they're calling it the directory but it's actually the folder that we created that the subfolder on GoDaddy which we named cloak and there's no need for the slashes you just put cloak project and then the folder is cloak and then I have my username I made up just for this and then my password I'll put that in and now I should be able to add this and if I did it correctly it'll automatically connect to GoDaddy so what's happened here is that it has connected to automatically to the server. This shows you uh, the local view on your computer, your hard drive at home, and this view shows you on the GoDaddy server. Now I, I have stuff already on that website, but now I'm just going to get rid of all that. So I just highlight it and delete it, and ask me if I, I say yes to all, and so it's able to remotely delete those files for me. So this is pretty slick. I mean that there's a what they call an FTP client or basically a mechanism for loading your websites built right into Expression Web. So now this part really couldn't get much simpler. This is this is the um, the domain name. That's the folder I created on GoDaddy this is my test site that I created in an earlier project and now all I need to do to upload it to GoDaddy server is just hit that arrow as simple as that and it automatically uploads the f all the files for me and you can see the new expression web actually loads more than one file at a time it can load four and so it actually downloads pretty quick so now what's happened is all the files that I created for my website my test site have now been uploaded to Cloak Project um, into the Cloak folder. So now what I should be able to do is go to, let's see what we can do here, go to Google here, and I should be able to type in Cloak Project. Cloak, oh there it is. And I should be, I better see the website that we created. Yeah, so there it is. The website that we created now has been uploaded. It's on a GoDaddy server hosting account. It's actually the deluxe plan. And there it is. And as you can see, there's all my pages. Of course, I haven't filled in all the content, but that's the that's my website. Notice the color changed on there. There might be a, a faulty link right there, but uh, as you can see, the color scheme changes from page to page, so I have to probably update that. But it's basically my website fully uploaded onto cloakproject.com and there see there's that default again which is the home page 
And that's basically all there is to it. So let me close out of this. Here's how, and here's how you do it. Now I did want to um, show you one last thing here before we close out. There is a whole bit to um, involved with um, how you then now that we have the website up on the internet about how we submit it to search engines and put keywords into the website and I actually hope to be talking about that on an even later video um, but for now I think this is uh, gives you a general idea of, of how relatively easy it can be to upload your website onto a hosting account like I said the one we chose was GoDaddy I'm going to show you something here real quick um, when you go to sign up for GoDaddy, one of, this is one of the things that I don't like about GoDaddy actually, is that it keeps wanting to sell you stuff. And you have to be really careful when you make your way through GoDaddy that you don't choose any of that stuff. And, and, you'll, and it's kind of sneaky how they do it and you'll just say, no thanks, you know, I just want to check out. And uh, when you finally get, when it's all said and done and you finally get to the checkout page, here's where you would enter that promo code and you click apply code and then you'll give you that discount that additional 20 percent or whatever you find on the internet so I just throw that out there because I hate to see anybody pay more than they have to for anything and uh, like I said uh, GoDaddy does seem to be pretty reasonable in terms of cost so to get a website uploaded you just need a domain name and you need a hosting account and uh, for now, I think that's about it. I will plan to do another video on how to get your website submitted to the search engines and how to put the keywords in it so then people can actually find you. But when it's all said and done, we're about two-thirds of the way there, right? So we've got how to build a website, how to upload it onto a hosting account, and then the final phase of it would really be keywords and registering it with the search engines, which I hope to show you on a another video. So thanks again for everything and I, I really hope you find this helpful.